If we want to solve systems of linear equations in Excel, we need to understand how to write these things down in algebraic form and then convert them to what is actually known as the matrix form. And if we look at a particular set of uh, equations here, we've got two equations and two unknowns in this system. We've got an unknown x1 and an unknown x2. So if we call this equation 1 and this equation 2, how this ends up being written is in the form of a coefficient matrix times a set of unknowns, a vector of unknowns, and that gives you a vector of known right-hand terms. And if we look at each of these rows as an equation, what we're really doing in the coefficient matrix is writing the coefficients for the particular variables. So I've written them up here as well. This is just transposed from our unknowns. And so if we look at equation 1 and find the x1 variable, the coefficient is 2. For the x2, the variable is 4. And then the right-hand side is 5. So I'm going to format these a little bit. I'm just going to center them up. Uh, so for equation 2, the unknown for x1, or sorry, the coefficient for x1 is 5. The coefficient for x2 is 2. And then the right-hand side is 6. So if we call this matrix A, oops, and then this is our vector x of unknowns, and this is our vector b of known right-hand terms, what we end up with is a system of linear equations that looks like ax, or sorry, a, yeah, ax equals b. And if we go into a little bit of theory of linear algebra here, the solution to this particular system of equations is x equals the inverse of a uh, times b. So all we really need to do is find this inverse term. So this is something you can get into if you study linear algebra. The inverse of a matrix can be done in Excel very easily. So I've got a 2 by 2 this is going to create a 4 by 4, uh, sorry, a 2 by 2 inverse. So if I wanted to do that, I'd select a range of 2 by 2 cells, type in equals M inverse, pick my range, and you notice a range has the top left cell, colon, bottom right. And then instead of hitting Enter, I need to hit Control, Shift, Enter. So this is the inverse of A. We can do matrix multiplication. So if I actually multiply, so M mult is the matrix multiplication equation. If I multiply the inverse, by uh, the original matrix itself, what I end up with, I forgot to hit Control Shift Enter there, so M, let me redo this, M mult of the original matrix times the inverse Control Shift Enter, we end up with the identity matrix. And when we take the identity matrix and multiply it by anything, what we end up with is the original matrix, which is how we get from this equation to this one. If we want to just skip to the answer here, what we need to do is do matrix multiplication of M inverse. So we take the inverse of A and we multiply it by B and hit Control Shift Enter. And again, that's a little hard to see, so let me change the color. So the equation looks like the matrix multiplication of the inverse of A times B, and this is our solution. We can check it, verify it, by doing matrix multiplication of A times our unknowns, and we should get our right-hand side 5 and 6, which we do. So this is how you can solve a system of linear equations, and this can be, you know, 100 or more equations and unknowns, and you can do it very, very easily and quickly in Excel just by finding the inverse and multiplying it by the right-hand side. So the equations that we used are M inverse and M mult to accomplish this.